Hey community, this is Dr. You coming at you again. And today I have a very, very special case. And this is a gentleman that has been bedridden due to all the different medical procedures he's had, all the different chemicals he's put in his body. And to be honest with you, I was very hesitant to actually accept this person on as a client. At the end of the day, you know, if you're out there suffering, you're looking for answers. I know I can help you and I know I can help him. So I decided to take on the case and we did an organic acid test. So I'm going to go over that and then I'm going to go over some basic treatment plans that we did. Now, the organic acid test is a very, very powerful test. If you don't know about it, it's a first morning urine void. It's very, very simple. We mail you the test. You pee in a cup. You mail it back to the lab and we get the results. Now, He's been to doctor, to doctor, to doctor, to doctor, of course, like everyone that's probably watching these videos, like yourself, I'm just a guide and I can guide people out of the mess, out of the confusion. And the organic acid test is very, very telling. If you're going to the doctor and you're getting the same test, the same test over and over and over, well, I mean, that's the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over. So you got to have different tools in your tool, toolbox and the organic acid test is a different set of tools. Now, when you see this organic acid test, you're going to say, oh my goodness, I can see why he's not functioning. I can see why he's bedridden. Now, when I say bedridden, I mean, he's literally in the bed. Like he can't move. He, uh, he, he has, uh, you know, he, his diapers changed. He's fed. Uh, he pees, he pees in, 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 in a bag that needs to be changed. So he is literally like bed ridden. Now, since we've been working with him for about six weeks, he's moving, he's gained weight, he's alert. Now he's not like jumping up and down out, out of his bed, but that is a possibility. You got to start small with different tools and move in the right direction. And we're already getting positive changes where no one else in the past has. So stay tuned. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my station because this content needs to get out there. There's too many human beings that are suffering like yourself. If you're, if you're watching this video or if you know someone that's suffering send this to them so subscribe to my station give me a thumbs up so let's get into this so you can actually understand what's going on so let me minimize me so this is the uh organic acid test so i'm gonna be looking at at the the camera here and then down at my computer because this is where the notes are at so just to give you an idea of this so this organic acid test checks 76 different markers now for him um so he had 45 positive markers out of 76. I've never seen an organic acid test this bad on anybody. So this is why I wanted to show you this. But when you look at this, you can see this. Oh my goodness, this makes sense why you're better. And this makes sense why you're having these problems. See, the testing that we do makes sense. It's logical. If you continue to check your, like you go to the conventional system and, and they check your cholesterol, they check your sodium, potassium, and say everything's normal. Well, you need different tools for uh, finding your problem, right? You can't use the same tools over and over and over. Okay, so this is the organic acid test here. Now, you can see here, let me just minimize me for a little bit here. So you can see this right, right in here. So you can see this right here is basically yeast and fungus. Look at this. High, 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 high. See all those reds? Those indicate high markers. Now, I'm just going to scan through all these things so you can just see how many are high. So the first section here is yeast and fungal markers. So bunch of high stuff. Then we have Clostridia, right? Clostridia, two high markers on Clostridia. His gut's completely trashed. Then down here, we're going to move to oxalates. Guess what? This uh, test checks three different oxalates. So we hear right here, the oxalates, one, two, three, all high. Is this making sense? Like this guy ha has oxalates. You don't know anything about oxalates. I have videos on that. These are small little crystals that can form in your central nervous system, your brain, your tissues. Kidney stones are oxalates. Calcium kidney stones or oxalates here lactic acid right this is muscle that builds up in your muscles and you get sore and tender high lactic acid uh, down here we have a whole bunch of mitochondrial functions right in here guess what every single mitochondrial function is bad right so i mean this, it's like I, when i look at this i'm like okay i understand why you're in the condition you you're in so let's take a methodical process Right. Let's do step one, which is simple. Let's do step two, which is simple. And let's do step three, which is simple. A guide in your corner, someone that can guide you through what needs to be done. I'm just like an orchestra conductor. I'm just looking at all these different moving parts and putting the pieces together. Here we go. Some more mitochondria function. So, OK, mitochondria messed up. Right. Boom. Mitochondria. These are all the byproducts. So high, high, high. Mitochondria is not function. Neurotransmitters. Boom. See this neurotransmitters. All high, 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 high. Anxiety, depression depolarization, uh, you know, th those kind of things. Uh, here we have tryptophan, serotonin, quinolinic acid, which is very neurotoxic. 
This is high, right? Now, when you look at this high stuff, you can see, you know, for example here, this would be a, a good example. You see this marker's high, but then this is pinned, right? So this is pinned. All, if you see a marker way over here, that means that it's pinned the needle. It's all the way over to the side. Look at pinned here, right? Pinned here. So you can see, like, you know, there's just a lot of damage here. So if you're out there and you have a problem, down below there's going to be an opportunity or somewhere in this video to schedule a 20-minute consultation, uh, discovery calls. This is where we get on a Zoom call or a phone call and just figure out, is there any way that we can actually help you? Ketones, fatty acid oxidation, look at this, high, high, high. Pin the needle on a lot of those things here. Then we have nutritional markers. You know, this is almost lab high right here. This is high, high. Vitamin C, right, we have... Um, CoQ10, a need for CoQ10, glutathione, NAC. So these things are all affecting him. Here we have poor glutathione status. It's almost pinned the needle. Methylation problems right in here. We have ortic acid, which is ammonia caused by bugs. So when you get in here and I show this to them, and they're like, oh, man, finally a doctor that's done something that actually makes sense, right? Like I, we have some answers. Now, you're going to have this. I'm going to put a link onto this. Now, you can totally geek out on all this stuff down in here if you want to. Um, you know, clostridium markers right here, super, super high intestinal uh, overgrowth. So in here, you can you can move down here. You can like geek out what do the, all these things mean. Now, the whole thing is, is you got to take a simple methodical approach. So what did we do to start with? So this is his program. It's, uh, you know, we start with the basics. So what does that look like? So he wasn't pooping. So we got to get you pooping. So we did some bowel massage. We did for ca uh, for constipation cast oil packs on on the gut area right in here um, and you know I give links here here's where you buy it here's what you want to watch we did a chi machine why do we want to do a, a chi machine because he's literally like bedroom so we need to get life in him right motions life good motion good life you know I used to be I used to volunteer at a, at a nursing home when I was like like in, you know, like 18 19 20 and you're in the nursing home for two reasons one is your spine doesn't move like you have our arthritis or your brain's not working those literally are the two things so motions life is if he's sitting in a bed all day long he's not getting enough motion he's not he's not moving enough motion is life so we got him to do a chi machine it's just a little thing that you stick your legs in and it vibrates all day long very simple things that can be done to start moving the needle so chi machine we started doing gargling exercise the vagus nerve a lot of people want to say uh, like doctor how can i strengthen my vagus nerve you gargle really hard and that strengthens your vagus nerve you can actually strengthen your nervous system by basic simple exercises we got an oxygen meter simple like it's twenty dollars on amazon you put it on your finger and you measure are you getting enough oxygen to your tissues low hanging fruit um so do the blood pressure cuff. We did had him do the HCL challenge. It's very specific. This is on, on the course. Go here, watch this video, take these supplements here, right? So these are all the things that we've we've done. Um, and this is just kind of getting out of the chute right here. Take some supplements, some, uh, this is a key one, magnesium citrate. If you're not pooping, magnesium citrate will make you poop, right? So we got to get your pooping going. And these are the different things. Salary juice. He wasn't consuming any live food he was consuming like these these products that were just like dairy and it wasn't live so start juicing juicing celery juice is a live juice it's live it has energy it has vital force that people need so you can just see like i get excited about this because when when i connect the dots and people start to get better where they were given up he was he was he was there was no hope for him right and maybe you're sitting at this situation there's no hope for me there's hope for you there's possibility there's life all right, there's life for you to get better. And then these are these conversations that I had with him. Just had a conversation. He's doing much better. He's, uh, you know, he's moving. He's alert. He's gained weight. His brain function is back. He's more himself, they said. His personality is coming back to him. So if you like this video, again, give me a thumbs up. Like the station. Spread the word. And just remember, is God created you to be well? There's a power within your body that can heal your body. If you're sick and chronically sick, you just have to figure out what's hindering that ability. Like, I don't heal anybody. What we do is we figure out 
where the problem is. We give the body what it needs. Maybe we, some de- de- we, de- we do some detoxification and we allow that power within the body to be fully expressed in your body and that heals your body. When you go in the conventional system, they just look at you as a disease process, right? That's not it. We have to look at you as a whole human being. You're a spiritual being that wants help, that has a problem, that has a need, that is suffering, that needs answered. This is what it's about, ladies and gentlemen, is getting to the root cause of the problem and helping you, helping human beings get well, because God designed us to be well, and there's too many people suffering in this country, in this world, with chronic diseases, and they have no answers because no one's guiding them to the point. Step A, let's do step A, let's do step B, let's do step C. So that being said, just remember is where there is help, there's hope. Take care. Bye-bye.